In this video, I create the world's most satisfying organization Pokemon card collection draw video making craft project ever. Okay, there's not a lot of those videos around, but this one promises to be really satisfying. <sighs> this is a problem. We need to solve this as a team. Do everyone else get that text about the emergency meeting? Do you know what it's about? No idea. Yeah, I hope everyone's all right. Ah, oh, good, you're all here, thank you. Okay, as you all know, uh, I wanna be the very best that no one ever was. I really think it's about high time we, we all work together to organize a system that is satisfying and functional. This is a whole team project, are you all ready? In the last year, I have really gotten back into Pokemon and Pokemon cards. The problem is I've reached the threshold of what I've set myself up for in terms of keeping organized. So this is how in the past I would separate. And as you can see, I've overflowed. All the energy is just grouped on the side like that. Oh, Ugh, yuck. yuck. Disgusting. You're not a true Pokemon, man. I'm, I'm a fraud, I'm a failure, but I'm a failure with a whole team of people and some epic machinery and tools that can help me fix this problem so I can unbox a whole bunch more booster boxes and create more problems later. Yeah! So we've laser cut this, which is the exact dimensions of this bottom shelf. If I construct the most beautiful draw system, I'll be back on track. This has gotten out of hand. I th everyone was thinking it. I didn't want to bring it up. Everyone has been saying it behind your back. I had a feeling. Yeah. I had a feeling this has been the talk of the office. Yeah. Even just looking at this already, like how satisfying will it be? Imagine if each of these was a drawer you could pull out, right? Not unlike this, really long drawers that I'll be able to pull out. That gives me more than half of that whole space to create some, you know, more optimal ways of organizing the other stuff. I'm really working towards something that has a balance of color, a symmetry, and a really, really nice visual appeal. The final design I've settled with have all of the main Pokemon energy and Pokemon types in a row at the top. Everything excluding dragon and fairy type. They will still have their own drawers on a row underneath. And then on the opposite side, two drawers for plain Pokemon type and a rainbow drawer, which will be where I can keep special energy. With those four drawers split and on either end of this middle row, the very center is there left for one larger draw, which I'll split into three so I can divide my stadiums, items, and supporters. Now this is ambitious, so I'm gonna need help. Starting off with Rob, my tech genius in the office, who's gonna help me turn this into some CAD designs that we can get laser cut. Now he'd made this little wooden prototype, basically of this compartment system. We decided in the end, it's gonna be best, most convenient, and most straightforward to basically build this whole thing one row at a time. Then we can use things such as the amazing website he found, boxes.py, where you can pre-enter some of these parameters exactly for your project, and it spits out some CAD drawings you can use in laser. Cut. Then we need to plan ahead for some of those refined finishing touches that will feel great, but we have to plan early. Amy consulting with me on the interior lining, the felt, so that every drawer not only had a satisfying opening, but opened to a beautiful colored interior that will make the whole thing feel really polished and complete. And I spent the day with Rob, laser cutting all the boxes and getting the measurements absolutely perfect. He loves my company. Laser cutter, use laser beam. Fire up, shut up.
Now I'm gonna skip all the complicated details because there was a lot of problem solving that would make boring content because it constitutes basically measuring and cutting boxes and the measurements not being perfect. Suffice it to say, we had such slim margins to work with and we had to switch from the walls being three mil ply to being two mil ply because every millimeter counts. And I wasn't sure if both the drawers would fit and if the cards could fit in the drawers. It was gonna be really tight. No, no. Oh, there you go. I don't want to test it, but I reckon we could stand on this it. This is, I thought that, <laughs> sorry, I, did, I thought that was a moment. That took all day. <sighs> Let's come back tomorrow. Hopefully it'll be dry and not fall apart. We'll test it on the shelf and then we just have to see if we can still fit drawers. This is way tighter than I expected. Ah, it's the next day and it's the moment of truth. Mm. As excited as I am, Rob? Uh, I'm worried. Don't be worried, because it's a bloody perfect fit! Ah! <laughs> okay, that is very satisfying. Next, drawers. So Rob and I set about creating our prototype drawer. Now that we gauged that we could have enough space within the drawer to fit both a drawer and a card, but just. So we made a prototype out of two mil cardboard, which in theory would match the same dimensions as our final drawer. Oh, oh. Ha! 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 Yes! All right, that's pretty. Dumb. Oh my God! Yes! Ah! I got it. I, that's inappropriate. And when that worked, we made it out of the two mil ply. It was pretty hard to make work, but it's not an easy road on the way to becoming a Pokemon master. To be a master, Pokemon, Pokemon master. master. Pokemon Drawers, assemble! Or at least, it's time to, for me to assemble Pokemon Drawers. I am so sorry for my relentless enthusiasm. I've been wanting to do this for ages. Murray, could you carry this for me? I have to go this way. We got shelf number two framed up and done. Oh, like a glove! We our system is now working. This is the fun bit. Now we get to start making it look pretty. Murray. Hi. I need your help painting these. With my third shelf in, we had a context for all the space I needed to take up, which wasn't the whole shelf. I didn't want to needlessly expand the drawer sizes, so instead I took the shelf above it, down one notch, which almost had it perfectly flush on top of the two boxes. There was about a nine mil gap. So using four millimeter MDF and five millimeter ply, I cut some gap fills for the top and bottom sections, which would also help reinforce the top that was bowing a bit. And in theory, with all those glued together, it would be a millimeter perfect fit. And then it was time to start measuring, cutting, and planning all of the really polished stuff that would go on the front to make it look perfect. And starting to work with the clean white and black acrylics that would also be colored here and there. This is gonna be such a satisfying project. It has been so far with the fits, but now when we get to make it look pretty, yeah, you know what? Just buckle up and enjoy the rest of the ride. Mm, it's gonna be satisfying. I'm sorry for making this weird for literally everyone. <laughs> At the end of day two, how are we feeling? Good. That's the spirit. All right, so now this is the bottom drawer. Gonna be the foundation. This is very satisfying. Look at this, look at this. Click. All right, last but not least, we have the top layer, which we've thickened up as well as the bottom. Oh, oh my God. This could not be any tighter. That is a perfect fit. Next, let's chuck in some drawers. Rob, would you do the honors? So we've worked very hard to have these fit. Oh. Hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah. 
And if you thought that was satisfying, we've recut the dividers rather than sticking with the MDF because we're going for that premium polished schmexy feel. We've gone with glossy black acrylic. And these slot perfectly. Next step is the really polished stuff. Clean white acrylic is gonna be adhered to the front of all these drawers. And then we're gonna make handles that are gonna stick out and they're gonna be colored to the type of Pokemon card in the drawer. Like the whole set of shelves is actually gonna look white with beautiful clean black trim. I get excited about dumb things. It's been a hard work team, but that is another day down. I think it's time for the final battle on day three. Ah, oh, next day. Amy, can you come over here, please? Ha, huh. I felt you might be helpful today. Uh, Let's pick some colors. The plan is we take the tray. Mm -hmm. Each of these is one of these colors. You can put this on top once it's glued and apply pressure, yeah. so that way we can get a really flush, flat, evenly adhered fit. Go team! Rob, first of all, we need energy symbols for these. They're gonna match the <laughs> disc. <laughs> They're gonna match the discs, Rob. Mm -hmm. All of the Pokemon card types plus plain energy and an energy symbol for energy. Murray! Oh my god, look at them all. I'm not ready. <laughs> You're ready to be the very best, but no one ever was. This is five minute epoxy glue. Then we will epox this to the back of one of these. See how there's a line? That is the diameter of this, and that is your goalpost. So with that done, set it aside to dry till we have a lineup of 12 handles. Yep. They're gonna need a base coating in black, and then each of them will be a gradient. Okay. okay. You ready? I'm ready. Roth. Yes. I need boxes, two boxes. Slot in top and middle. Let's go. The day three hustle has well and truly begun with Amy taking charge of felt lining all the bottoms of the drawers in our beautifully selected range of colors and her amazing crafting style and Murray handling the construction, base coating and airbrush coloring all of the handle bases. All of them had a flat base color and then a really gentle airbrush towards a central highlight. Nothing too major. I don't want too much contrast because the color will already contrast with the whites of the symbols and the borders, but enough to make it feel like candy especially with that final coat of varnish to make it pop. Amy's fine-tuned cutting felt. We've got our two final drawers. This is absolute chaos. And what the context is that you're not getting is it's Friday afternoon at 3 p.m. and this video is coming out tonight. I could have filmed a simple video. I could have. Instead, I've gotten the entire studio to build me the perfect custom Pokemon card storage compartment system with insanely high production value at incredibly short notice. This drawer just doesn't fit. But I'm not recutting this because we don't have time. So I'm gonna sand the material down. Rob's cutting the symbols that are going to go on the drawer handles. Felt is coming along swimmingly and it looks amazing. Look at these. When those symbols are on, it's gonna sing but we're gonna get these drawers in, paint them, and cover the front. We've gotta do a Pokeball handle. There's so much oh to do. God. And you've gotta edit the video. Ah! Three hours, let's go! No! Wait, oh, you still filming? Wait, yeah, wait, wait, yeah, wait, wait, yeah. There's one thing you can do to help us make all this worth it. Could you please just hit that like button? We've got a lot going on here. That'd just give us a huge hand. Uh, and, and make sure to subscribe for more fun with that and creativity. And let's face it, <laughs> Pokemon. Uh, that'd be a huge help. Holy we have so much to do. Work was hustling along really thoroughly throughout the day, but let's just say in the last, like, things really kicked up at not your 10.
did a whoopsie. I glued the fire to water. Okay, uh, I have to try and get this out. Oh, do you know what? It might be a false alarm. I reckon that might be maskable. Fire is now fire. We're good. Back to the big montage. <laughs> And after all that painstaking, insane work, I am proud to present to you the most satisfying and perfect Pokemon card collection presentation you'll ever see. <sighs> was your adrenaline going at the end there? <laughs> it was a big build up. the roof. Normally after a big epic project like that, we have these epic reveals, which we sort of show, but like, I think really to enjoy the result of this, I hope you will enjoy coming on the journey from, with me, putting my card collection in the drawers. Let's start off with a little bit of a tour of the drawer layout. As you can see, and as we showed, perfectly fits in the whole drawer orientation. All the card types, as I've described, they have the felt lining the bottom. How satisfying is that? Opening them up and seeing that color. And to be honest, the lower drawers means there's a little bit of dip when you pull them out, which actually I think is a feature. It means you can see all those cards easier. So that's all the main types. Then Fairy and Dragon, obviously discontinued and rare up, but you know, I might come across them and I want a place for them. This is for the non-energy type Pokemon cards. And this is for special energy. But these drawers, this one will eventually be fitted with our tray lining so we can put trainer cards. And the top one I'm gonna fill right now actually. Let's see how this goes. So I can still, I take this whole drawer out, unbox my cards and organize them on the fly when I'm unpacking, on the rare occasions I actually get the time to do that, and put them nicely in there. So let's load in our cards, starting with energy for our shadow or dark type. Pop in there, put a new divider in here. It's a little snug. <laughs> Do you know what though? We couldn't have got an extra single millimeter. And this is for, you know, general card storage. These aren't the valuable ones. <laughs> and then we just go through filling in the rest of the energy and the cards for fire. Fighting. Lightning. Grass type Pokemon. Water and or ice. Ice baby. Uh. <laughs> it's eight o'clock on a Friday, I'm sorry. <laughs> Psychic slash poison slash fairy, I guess, moving forward. Steel type Pokemon. And then our outliers, the fairy type and the dragon type. There aren't many of these, but it's fun to have a place for them. Our last Pokemon type is no type, of course. And then our places for just miscellaneous cards from energy to trainer cards and everything in between. pitched in the full studio for three days and over time and we've got to edit the rest of this video and we'll get it out to you guys but this is a huge team accomplishment and the absolutely perfect outcome we can finally arrive to what we all have been waiting for. Yay! I can finally open some boosters. What? I'm so excited. 
It's been so long. Um, this is what the emergency was for? Yeah, I told you. I, I couldn't open and organise my cards. 